that catches my eye on the internet, I like to serve it up here. This is what I'm liking. A New Hampshire woman had every reason to freak out when she awoke to an intruder in her house, as you would, but it wasn't a burglar, it was a bear which is scarier, I think, maybe. Uh, just check out these photos out. Uh, the furry guest trashed the front of the house, ripping out the walls and eating insulation. <laughs> the woman's husband managed to get the bear out without incident, but not before it left thousands of dollars in damages. We have that woman on the line right now, so everybody say hi to Melissa, who watches on NBC Boston. What's up, Melissa? Hi, Kelly. <laughs> I mean... So is this like a normal thing in your neighborhood? Like bears and houses? No. <laughs> okay. So bears are outside, yes, that's a normal thing, but bears in the house, not so much. Yeah, I was like, that's a big old bear. He found the honey. <laughs> uh, so wait, what, what did you guys do? <laughs> First, we called the police who called the game warden who kind of says, well, it's gonna take, we live in the middle of nowhere and it was gonna take him quite some time to get to us. And he says, well, I'll gear up and head your way. He wasn't at all happy about it. And um, he says, but I'm, after, I'm gonna call you before I leave my driveway and we'll see where we're at. And in the meantime, my husband did not like with the bear because it was just getting worse. And there was the potential that he could have come through the dining room window, actually into the house. So we were just trying to figure out ways to get him out. And I said, well, just jump out the window and open the door for him. And he's like, Melissa, it's eight feet off the ground. I'm not jumping out the window. And then so bet we remember there's a ladder on the roof because we had been doing the chimney work. So he decided that he would go upstairs to the bedroom and climb out that window and open the door for him. And he did. He was able to open the door. And finally, he left. And um, what surprised me the most about him leaving was that he could have gone left or right and kind of darted off into the woods. But he walked up the stairs to our driveway. You have to go up a few stairs to get to the top of our driveway. He walked up the stairs as though he'd been there before. He knew, he knew that yard, he knew those stairs. So I don't think this was his first visit, just the first time he got trapped in the house. Well, my, my personal favorite part of this story is when you thought your husband was some kind of ninja that was gonna jump out an eight foot window. <laughs> like, that's my favorite part. You were just like, jump out the window and handle it, son. <laughs> If I could hold the door and keep a 400 pound bear back, he should have been able to jump out the window. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that y'all are both all right. This is a very funny story because nothing bad happened, but, and not funny because it probably was very expensive, but I'm liking your post right no. now. That's a big bear. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. And that's not all. I want you to know our season-long partner, Pilot Pin, makers of friction, the go-to erasable pin of The Kelly Clarkson Show, think that your experience is just as wild as everyone does. So they're going to give you $1,000. Maybe that'll help with some of the damage. <laughs> all right. Thank you so well, thank much, you so Melissa. Much.